Bob has even decided to buy it. So it's a little bit tricky here for Sonic says Sentinels are kind of reading it, and you can see Tens already starting to push forward down towards A for a flank. Very, very quick flank and getting all of that information. Now Sentinel's fully on the rotation back, and you still have Dapper, Dapper. on this front line, down to 7 HP. Still somehow healing, it still somehow can damage, taking down Crunchy, but quickly, Sentinel's! Crunchy out and away, not taking up any HP. That's probably the most important part, even with the wall banks. It was still just fine, so it still backs up, and now it's now full control for Sentinels. Ooh. At least it's tight. They just want to get this fight down, but Bob getting two. You still have Plix playing around yellow Play box. Game. Down to five HP. Zombs with a pick. He's got Crunchy the spam. has to get it through the box. Trying to spam. Can't find it. Shazam down to 50. Oh, oh and he gets the defuse. At least has full real estate now, but look at the jump on top. Not going to be able to find anything. Instead, it has to be Bob to take down tens, and indeed he does. Man advantage now for Sonics. Three players on the back line for Sentinels. And Crunchy even picks up Flicks right in the middle. This Viper's Pit is just taking up so much space. It's so dangerous for Sentinels to even go through. Flicks is going to take down Sick with the Boom Bots. And one more remaining. It's Dapper in a 1v4. Still has a wall to work with. He wants to put that in front of the okay. wall. Quick burst takes down Crunchy. Big, big frag. Still has to deal with a player over towards Elbow. And he gets taken down. The Viper wall that they set up early on in the round. This was their setup. This was their plan early on anyways. They Put up the stage wall at least. Dapper through the fence. Couldn't get anything. Plix takes him down. Hunter's Fury <gasps> early. No. Dizzy misses out on a clean shot mid. Would have given a two man advantage back to Sonics. But now Sentinels, not exactly full strength, but they still have the bodies to fight. And through the Viper wall, taking down Plix. This is starting to become disastrous for Sonics, but they still have the chance to at least take it on down. Three players both on sites for Sentinels. Daisy Life and Bob combining for two. Now it's a Zombs in a 1v3, and Crunchy still wins it. So I want to take up this control. This could be a great fake. All the bodies for Sentinels are around here, except for one Shazam actually takes down Bob over towards B as Tens gets the kill onto Ion. There goes a frag from Dizzy. The spike is coming back to the A site, but this is the jaw of the beast. Sentinels still has the three bodies here, but one of them goes down. Nice pick from Plix. We start to rotate. They are anticipating maybe this is going to be a cancel. Maybe it's going to be a fake and wrap towards mid given the time, but Sonics are waiting patiently. Ooh. The wall breaks and so does Tens. He goes down, but it's sick back with one. Six still around. <gasps> He's gonna cut him off. Oh, that's a spike. And yes, he can cut him off instantly. Crunchy doesn't anticipate it. And there goes the route. That's a 1v2. Dizzy has missed a couple of pivotal shots, but has a chance for redemption. A fake dash. Has a close angle, and not only that, but he does have the knives. <laughs> And oh no, the recon is gonna tap him twice. Now he's out in the way. Only has one more updraft. Dizzy now with the knives. Waiting up at least for that take of the spike. Finally, it is going down. Know that there's one close. He's got a peek. Oh, he gets it all to Shazam. Still one more remaining. The knives are still out. Dizzy still catching on bullets. No. The defuse never goes by. Dizzy plays time. But knowing Sonics, they love to play with the picks. They love to try and get an open and kill intent. He expected Plix to play that angle, and oh he's going to go for more. Shazam right behind him onto Plix, and then him with a second onto Crunchy, but Dizzy's there for one. He is on I mean, such he's, a huge play. He's been here so many times, though, Sully. Sick is going to check this oh. 100 times out of 100. Going to go up with the recon bolt, keeps him off the spike plant, giving more time for these rotations and to set themselves up for the retake. 30 seconds left. Get yeah, with the Viper's pit. Oh, oh, he's those. actually outside of it, and now the pit is going to go down, and the Hunter's Fury hangs out dizzy, and Shazam gets the pick. It's a fast rotation, too. It's the two players that have been mostly on a pivot. Shazam coming back too late. Tens in the back line. Crunchy immediately gets the pick on the tens. Dizzy, nice pick on the sick. Still two up top on Rafters. Might be three in just a little bit, but they have full control of sight. That same wall goes up again. They want to oh. counter it. The wall is going down. Zones want to pick. Dapper up close. Takes down Crunchy with the wall open and the smoke still down. Dapper's actually going for the defuse. Shazam watching up top. So three for Sonics in the back line. Shazam misses out on the wall thing. No longer being defused. And Dizzy gets the pick up to Zombs. One more player remaining. And it's going to have to come down to Shazam. He knows that there's a gap through. But with only an op, he just has to go nuts. Bob had that first oh. contact. And Shazam looks away for a split second. Somehow Shazam is still alive. But now he's done. Back here. Shazam alone. Top of tube. 
all this utility being committed here and sentinels it's gonna be so difficult spike will be committed but no shazam he's up top but the spike goes down at the last second it's a 4v3 with kills going back and forth sonic's fine too and sentinels are down to just two it's again shazam juggling between the guns blade storm ready and a 3v2 sonics have already backed away two players by banana a big paranoia goes in shazam needs an opening and he's got one but punished by bob it's down to zombs in the clutch one versus two to tie things up he's stuck in the dark cover but out goes the swing it's not exactly gonna get anything and they haven't taken up that back control yet but it's actually gonna be a deeper wall than they're used to now plicks on top of rafters this is really the only position that they have to look out for three bodies looking at that exact same position and six down clicks. Shazam and Zongs with another one. Tens with a second. Now it's just Dizzy in a 1v5. Catches. Oh, oh no Six out one and Dapper as a knife. I guess gone down as well. Sonic should be expecting the majority of these players to be playing in this ultimate area. So it's up to Dizzy to maybe get a trade, but it's iron to punish sick first. A paranoia ready for Zongs, but in a 2v5. It's like they're almost anticipating it. They're still checking these angles. That's unreal. Zon's now in a 1v4. Control so that they didn't have to worry about their flanks. But unfortunately, with Tens going down to Bob, it created a huge gap in that position. And while oh. Sonics, we're off to another roaring start, but it's Shazam instead to take down Dizzy. Now the double duelists both making their way in deep into a -main, just trying to get a couple of picks. But it's Plix getting a pick. Zombs takes him back. Now man advantage for Sentinels. But they can just put up that wall and get that spike down. But instead, it's Crunchy on top of Raptor taking out Shazam. Still under. Oh. Bob is here alongside, no alongside Crunchy and Bob gets two. Well, they are on an eco. We're going to feel up the rest of the map. But this is where we see the little changes. Oh. Iron from out the sky. It's Shazam to be sent back down to Earth. Yeah, like a clay pigeon. Goodbye, Shazam. Oh. Dizzy. Oh. One, two, make it three. No, does not take down Zombs, but man, oh man, Sonic's with an explosion of frags, and they're still looking to go at Sonic speed to try to finish off this round. It's just Zombs, um, such low HP, that is, oh my no goodness, way. Sonic's. I mean, how on earth could he even get a pick from here? Unless seconds. someone wide swings and does take down Sick, but he's okay. instantly taken back by 10s, 4v4. They do have a revive available, at least for the side of Sonic, so they can get that man advantage. So it's big for Bob to get that first kill, and I think it would be valuable because you have those snake bites, but Ian, this is the this is the fight that needs to go the way of Sentinels. Ian, it's an off angle, and he's got a first kill here for the retake, but Shazam needs this trade. Lockdown goes into effect, and this just became so much more difficult for Sentinels. And Ian is sticking around, but look at the wall bangs through. Could it actually take down the lockdown? There it is! Indeed he does! There you go! Shazam takes down the lockdown, and now Ian needs to fight up Shazam in a 1v1. Now he pops out. Ten goes down. 1v4. Dapper just has to hold down the spike. Just has to play time. Ian gets the kill. Do they have time? No! No, they don't! Oh. Sonics! By the skin of their teeth! Well, in the meantime, Dizzy was just in a 1v1. Watch there he goes. The Viper's pit is up alongside the wall. Not only that, but a showstopper not going to be able to catch anything. Instead, it's Zapper going down. The Diffuse is still going in. Hunter's Fury going to be able to take down Ion, but still the Diffuse is going to go down on Crunchy. Zoms gets a kill back. And not only that, but Bob went down too. So the Viper's pit goes down, and Zoms and Shazam combined for four Sentinels of a knife. Economy is starting to take a big, big tear after these last two rounds. And Dizzy, Dizzy, no, he's not going to no get it. Tens, way. one tap to his head. And there's an explosion, a burst onto the B site with four players. That's going to be the last time we're going to be seeing Dizzy with the offer a little oh. bit too because of his economy. Now, Bob, it was a second contact on the B site, but wasn't able to get anything done. Ion with a deep nano storm going to try to catch Dapper. A little bit of damage, but instead it's actually Crunchy in the back, rotating through their spawn and goes down to Tens. Tens with another one, and he's just holding W on. Plix only has a Bucky and can only play this position with the Bucky. Still gets two, but it's just consolation. 4v5, Spike gonna go down. A little bit of a spam, but I don't think I can find the right connections. A bit late on this peak. Can he win it against Sick? No, Punished goes down. 5v3 and Sonic's. Digging themselves a grave as oh Dizzy's committed the blade storm. They don't have this for the next round. No way. He's gonna no have way. to save the up. It feels like at least. Wow. That's that's so unfortunate. Because we mentioned that scenario and Dizzy is still going for the blade storm. They have to fight this up immediately. Sonic's making their way on. Shazam instantly with a pick onto crunchies. You still oh god. <laughs> I was about to say tens. 
Could just shut it down off of a wide swing, but still gets Bad traded back. Standing. It's still such a cool scenario now for the last two players of Sonics, as now they just want a couple of exits, but the, the economy is all too good. And Plix, he's stuck. He's going to go down to either the bomb or a player. Look out for the economy, too. Would have would have been, I think, 1K off the first contact. The one-way orb, and Dizzy wants to try to use it for his own advantage. And indeed, he opens up a huge entry pick for Sonics, but it's already taken back. Mm -hmm. Dizzy has to fight up a second player in sick, and now all of a sudden, the Uno reverse card has been placed down. Now Sonics are the one down a player. Oh, and look at this commitment from Ian. He's got the big ult that can maybe win them this round. Sonics have got a lockdown, and they're going to the A site. Sentinels, they could be walking into the lockdown. This is the best case scenario, and you can see Plix is backed away. As soon as the lockdown goes oh, in, he had the show. Wait. Stopper, but Zoms too quick on the trigger. It's Crunchy back for one. Crunchy only with a Guardian too, getting up such a huge pick. But look at the radius now of the lockdown. There's so much space over towards the back of sight. The lockdown simply is not efficient enough to just keep Sentinels away from the site. They can keep the real estate. They can keep this control. And now Sentinels, they are on the prowl for the final few kills. And now it's only Bob in a 1v4. Hunter's Fury and solo used. Shazam all four players looking for the last frag. And Sentinels, dramatic. Sentinels ended up going the other direction. So let's see how they actually treat this one out. Most of the players actually coming in through B main. That's kind of crazy. They make their way out quick though. Shazam picking up two immediately. Dizzy Light trying to dash on. Does end up taking out Shazam. Now he zombs. Still with another one and still in the back of sight. It's actually a crossfire. Sick right in the middle of smoke. And with one last person remaining, Crunchy needs to go into a 1v3. And Sentinels, they open things up. Well, as long as they have a plan in check, as long as they have a contingency plan, potentially they could counteract. But let's see how they even take this on, because now you have a gravity pull over towards ramp. That delays even more time. Shazam on the front line takes down Ion, and Tens is on a crossfire, taking down Crunchy and Screens. Double in ramp, trying to go down, and it's double for really both teams. Zom's right behind too, taking down Bob. Dapper up front with Tens right behind. It took up the dub anyways. I mean, Sentinels with a huge drive at the end of Icebox, especially with the way that they run, that they won some of the rounds. Very tactical in a sense, very overwhelming, and they're doing it again. Zom's in sick, opening up with two kills onto Crunchy and I, and Plix getting a little bit of damage, but it's actually a combo coming in from sight as Sick takes down Bob from lower. One last player remaining, Dizzy, only has a shorty. <laughs> and Dizzy, <laughs> Dizzy, no, no, please, don't come around the corner, please. Oh, Dizzy begging for his life, and now he just oh. wants to go for it anyways, and Dapper still takes him down. Might get pulled back at least, and yeah, there's already one. Nebula goes out the ground, not in his favor, but now he's stuck, Shazam punishing him, and Sonics, down goes Dizzy, up loss, and now a 4v5. Now oh, it's quick once again, this time Ian with a plethora of Util right by his side. He still needs to get the kills to really make it worth it, but he gets traded out immediately by Sick. And Sick, it's almost a trademark at this point, immediately picking back up tens. So now Sonics back down to square one. A two-man disadvantage as there's even a wall in heaven that they have to try to take down. They have no clue who's behind it. What was Dapper doing? Oh, he's grabbing the ult tour. I was so confused yes. for a second. I was like, Dapper, where are you going, man? <laughs> But Sonic's, yeah. it's another retake from one extremity, Gus. And Tens is still around the corner. He tries to fight it out immediately, though, and he somehow, somehow escapes from a mosh pit of Sonic's players. Crunchy? No, it's crunchy. Okay. Formation. My but that's goodness. what happens after time, right? This conditioning by Sentinels, that jet smoke has, or that cloud burst has always been a cue that a grab level was going to be activated, but Zoms doesn't use right. it. He instead replaces it up a little bit higher and tends from the swing on elevator. Almost at a second. Dizzy, or apologies, Plix, who does evade tens. And now the trades Whoa, go back. Sentinels out. finally here in a 2v2 as Crunchy comes up you huge in Hunter Street from Bob. All right, finally, we have a little bit of a ball game. Sick picking up Dapper, and Crunchy oh. knows that it's over towards bottom mid, and he wants to fight it up immediately, taking down Dapper. Still one player that they have no idea where he is, is Tens. Tens, still coming up, and Crunchy's not going to cancel it. either. He He's completely committed to the B, or I'm sorry, to Whoa. the A sites. Wait, wait, but they have no clue that Bob is here. Bob shuts it down, 40 HP, or uh, five, uh, 40 seconds left. What am I saying? I'm slipping up on my words. Tens. He takes your breath away no matter what. Takes down Bob. Now it's down to a 1v1. As again, that TP went all the way back to the A side, but Crunchy just has enough time. Tens 
Gets that information, goes for the fake, and Crunchy gets headshot through the wall. Tens knows that he's done for. The TP, don't really know if it even made a sound cue from that position. Tens out with the eye. Crunchy needs a headshot right here, right now. That's the only thing that he can afford. Tens playing ring around the rosy, around the pillar. Crunchy emerges, and that's a second headshot through the wall for Tens. As Sentinels, they start to abandon. What is this hold of ramp? But Bobby gets completely overwhelmed as the lockdown goes down. Three players emerge from the same position, and Shazam in the back of sight alongside Tens. It's a meat grinder as Sentinels. They make it look so easy. Now, Sentinels, at least in this round, not exactly taking their time, but at least taking up more control than you would expect. They're already up top mid, but they're, they're actually heading into a double crossfire over in heaven. But Shazam takes down both of them solo. Sentinels make their way out now. Now it's Dizzy, essentially in a 1v5. And that's already it. Tens is going to be able to get the spike down. And these last two players for Sonics, I mean, yeah, they're essentially on full loss bonus, but... I mean, they, they just have to save up at this point. They're getting crunched up again. Oh, oh sick. Oh. And Sonics are yet to get anything going. I'm going to have to call Van Silly time and time again. You keep saying time and time again. In we go, though. Sonics trying to fight up mid four-person mosh pit. Just trying to crunch up Sentinels. But that plan doesn't work out in their favor either. Instead, now it's Sonics having to abandon their mission with Sentinels having full free real estate of the B site. Yeah, the wall up as well. There should be no chance. Leer out from tens. It's a late lurk from Zoms. Nebula's down and everything. Sick waiting and watching. Shaz will get the spike down, but now they're looking for a little more flicks to punish, but Dapper again. This lurk is going to catch all of them off guard. That's what Dapper does best. Might not be they got to expect it. And they, are they expecting it? They, they have at least Iron looking over towards that direction, but tens oh. is just looking for some free frags. Waltzing their way into the B site again as Sonics. They thought that some of them were slick. You still have yet another player. It's actually Dizzy that went on the flank to try to get someone mid, but couldn't find anyone. But instead, him over towards B main. Gets a kill onto Sick. Even man advantage. Flicks out from heaven, takes down Zoms. This could be their chance to finally take, to take back a round in this map. Watch out for Shazam holding it down in heaven, but Flicks takes him down 2v3. It's quiet now as the last two players remaining are split up between B main and sight. But when you have tens alive, it's all too tough, isn't it? Dapper with the Odin. Oh, a little bit of a fake jump. Bob, he backs on out too, and he still has an Odin in his hands. It's Odin <laughs> the Odin. But oh my word. Well, Browns, I, I'm just thinking metaphorically here. Here comes <laughs> Sentinels, dude. They have two players up in heaven as Sonics barrel their way into the heaven side. Dapper takes down one, but Sick is still finding this one point Blake, and it's just Zam to try to help him out. Well. And the gravity pull is so good. It's so good. Sick takes down two. They wrap him up. I am now in a one. D3 breaks down the wall, but there's two Defenders players watching right over him. Sentinels, they close out the first international battle in Valorant, and they close out map two with a 13-0 to move on to the round of 16.